It's been confirmed by, the, uh, by NASA on the basis of information provided by an Indian amateur astronomer that the debris of the Vikram lander, India's lander, which was supposed to make a soft landing on the surface of the moon, has uh, in fact been located. Uh, the person to actually find it, the, uh, the uh, astronomer, the amateur astronomer, uh, Shanmugam Subramanian, joins us in a few moments from now. The before and after pictures are fairly unclear in this particular image, but uh, if you see the next image, then you'll get a clear idea of just what it is that the impact site looks like. So let's bring that picture for you. That's the impact site that you see. It's been outlined by uh, NASA of the area a short distance away from where that soft landing of the ISRO probe Vikram was actually supposed to take place. Well, joining us now is um, uh, Shan Mugam Subramanian. Thanks very much, uh, Shan Mugam, for, uh, for being with us, for speaking with us. Uh, it's, it's great that you made this find. When did you first think that you actually found the debris of Vikram? Uh, so I think it was around October 3rd, the same time uh, I tweeted to NASA. Uh, so I was searching for the Vikram lander's debris as well as the landing location itself. So it was north of the landing location. I was searching in a two into two square kilometer area. So as soon as I found out it, it is something odd, I, uh, I confirmed it must be the debris. Uh, so I tweeted to NASA as well as sent an email to them. And then I got a reply uh, from them today that this was indeed the debris of Vikram? Uh, so it came from uh, NASA's moon orbiter, that is LRO. Uh, so LRO has been orbiting the NASA for around something like 10 years and they have something like uh, 10 years of the images of the same location. So any spot on the moon, you can go there and you can see images of the same location for five, six years. So once I found out something that was there uh, in the new image and that was not there in the old image, I started searching the older images. In none of the older images, I was not able to find that particular spot. So I confirmed that it should, have, it should be something like uh, debris or something because uh, even in July's or August image, uh, that is June images, I was not able to find that particular white spot. So then I confirmed it should be the debris and then I sent out a mail to NASA. And so again, just uh, so that we understand this better, what satellite images were you using? How did you access these images? Yeah, so I'm basically a mechanical engineer by profession and I work as an IT architect in one of the MNCs and uh, I do create a lot of apps and websites on my free time. So uh, I have some of my apps has got uh, reviewed even by sites like TechCrunch and NewYorkTimes.com. Uh, so I do. Uh, I, I will be always doing something on my free time. That is, uh, apart from whatever the work I have been doing. Okay. And what did it feel like when you eventually got that letter from NASA? Were you expecting success? Yeah. So uh, it didn't land uh, as we expected, but it did crash. Uh, but I think there is a lot of positives to come out of this because. We have actually crashed something on New uh, Moon South Pole and uh, South Pole, uh, we are the first ones to find water on the South Pole. So I think by the next time, I think uh, we should be able to land uh, something on Moon surface and I hope we should be able to find more evidence of water on the Moon. Have you been in touch with ISRO at all? Yeah, I did expect this long back uh, because I do know that this might be the debris uh, since NASA has not found it even on October 14th flyby as well as uh, uh, September 17th. I, I did uh, realize this might be the lander, so it was not kind of a surprise. I was expecting it, uh, but I do feel elated that NASA has finally recognized and this would inspire a lot of other people like amateurs like me as well as uh, other folks outside of the spa uh, space exploration as well as uh, to, uh, to find something in space. And there is a lot, lot of things that is, uh, we could do in space that we could, we could track the debris, satellite debris, as well as we could um, uh, see the mass uh, surface, a lot of stuff we could do. And I would expect more and more people to have space as an hobby going forward. And, and just that query of mine, have you been in touch with ISRO? Uh, no, I did tweet, uh, tweet the same to ISRO as well as NASA 
and I did send a mail only to NASA but not ISRO because I do, uh, I'm not sure whether they have already confirmed that Vik Vikram Miranda has crashed. So, uh, and also uh, I didn't get enough contacts to tweet, uh, to send an email to ISRO about it. And uh, what do you want to now do with your passion in astronomy? Do you want to carry this forward? Uh, not exactly, but I would like to be an amateur because I could do a lot in other fields also. And so I would just like to be as it is now. Okay. And uh, just again, another uh, point of clarification. How far from the spot where Vikram was supposed to land was the debris located? Uh, so it was about like one kilometer from the landing surface. That is like 0 0.750 meter. That is 0 0.750 meters, 750 meters from the landing site. Uh, so uh, I searched only around the location because uh, from the ISRO's telemetry data, that is whatever the data they were broadcasting on that live television, uh, like what is the distance from the landing area like that. So I was able to search only around that area and that helped me a great deal, I would say so.